How can I be Asian when you're Asian? No, I can't. You cannot open up they our blood in here. Know. Oh, yeah. I would be fired immediately. They will never know. Okay? It's just a coincidence. All of a sudden, I'll have a shorter so, person wait, who has all the answers to, to your questions. If we go outside. Okay. So, last little piece. There's the Reese's factor. It's called the RH factor. And we don't talk a lot about it. Only in pregnancy are we concerned about it, okay? Um, and I'm hopefully, hopefully that's far down the road for most of you, okay? But if it's not, it's okay. It's all good. So now listen. Come on, Oh, what the? The baby can have a different blood type than the mother, okay? Because they are a combination of alleles from mother and father, as we just talked about. So now we have this mother in the placenta, and now we have the amniotic sac where the the baby is growing. Okay. Are the straight lines there? Okay. Not bad. Maybe the eyes over here. What's what? I don't know. Okay. Now, so this could be type, let's say B, and this could be AB. Okay. But the blood isn't in any contact, okay? Obviously, through the placenta, we have the diffusion of waste material and so forth and food. So the blood isn't in any contact. Now, here is the issue. If we have an AB negative mom and a positive baby, now what this positive factor is, O negative, O positive, is the rhesus factor, RH factor. And all that really is is an antigen or a protein that you're blood cell has or doesn't. It's separate from an MH, MHS category. It's just essentially uh, a, 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 an extra protein that's there that if you don't have as part of your makeup, guess what? You're going to recognize that as something different, okay, and we will uh, attack it. So whether you have this little horny little point here or not, this RH factor, I don't know if it's two, but this little uh, protein at the end Okay, or not makes it positive or negative. So let's just say by genetics your baby is positive and the mother is negative. No problems right now. Yes? So if you got like an A blood type but it was positive and you're negative, would it still attack it? Uh, the chances of it attacking a full body adult, the, I think the answer is no, but they try to keep that separate. So this is so slight, it's not usually a problem for adults on adults. Yes? So you're saying that a person with a negative blood could take a positive blood. Negative right, and, and, yeah, and it's not going to do much with the coagulation. It's not going to much, but we're talking about a scenario like this, though. Right. So here's the issue, okay? This baby gets born, and when it's born, there's going to exchange of some bodily fluids, okay? Some blood as well. So there's going to be some exchange of fluids. So uh, this positive, okay, uh, this antigen gets taken up by the mother. Okay, and so this protein, okay, and basically what it means is this protein on the blood gets exposed to the blood of the mother. The mother, okay, recognizes that to be foreign, okay, produces an, a, a T cell gets activated, that activates a B cell, produces antibodies, and now we say that this person is AB positive, okay, the mother just changed AB positive now. Change yes. Now it's not it's not a factor for adults. Now you're still AB. Now it means that you have the what? The antibody for that particular protein factor. Now the second birth can be di difficult. Okay. So this is what we have to watch. So let's pretend that this is an AB positive. Okay. And now you have a, another second baby. Okay, why do you think this could be potentially harmful? It tastes blood negative. Well, now you have an antibody that could attack um, the blood of this B cell, okay, if it has the what? The antigen. And what could happen is there is so much more blood of the mother compared to the baby. What you can have is these antibodies okay, which are made now because of the exposure of the first baby travel through the placenta into the amniotic sac where the fetus is developing and they get into the bloodstream and they coagulate the red blood cells 
they find that factor that's on the blood cells and they coagulate it and now those cells either die or clump up and what happens is the baby has less blood cells which means it gets less oxygen and there's uh, certainly a lot of problems when you have less oxygen. There's cell death, there could be um, uh, brain um, uh, uh, issues, um, they call us, uh, there's a fancy word for it, but it's anemia, okay? Anemia means you have a loss of red blood cells, therefore this is not getting the oxygen it needs. And as you know by cellular respiration, we need the oxygen to do what? React with the food we're getting to build. This thing is building, it's differentiating, and stem cells are trying to become differenti differentiated cell cells, stem cells. We're developing a pancreas, right? If we're not getting the oxygen to do cellular respiration, we're not doing what? getting the energy needed to properly develop our brain, our heart, our muscles, and you could have a, a fetus doesn't make it, okay? And you could have a stillbirth, okay? And they've been, so when there is this positive negative scenario, mom, dad, for mom, baby, they have to watch it very carefully, okay? So that RH factor really isn't a problem for adults. They don't even care about it. It's the mom to, it's the, it's the idea that antibodies made by the mom who's exposed, traveling through the placenta, and attacks and coagulates and actually kills the red blood cells who are actually more susceptible to die because they're younger. And it kills the ability of the fetus to use the oxygen, to deliver the oxygen in the developing cells. That requires so much more energy now. Think about it, you're trying to differentiate into, into, into individual organs. You need the most energy now, and now you're being hampered because you don't have the, the blood cells deliver the oxygen. Yes? So, the difference between positive and negative is that you have antibodies? Yes. Positive for well, the, you become positive because you have the anti, that means you've been exposed to it, so you've been, you're, you're positive. And um, I guess the idea is the baby um, has it or not. So, yes. Yes? Is that situation with the different RH factors between the baby and the mother, is that always something that will happen where the baby will develop? No, you have to, no, because they have ways to monitor that now, okay? But they have to pay particular care if the baby and mom are different, uh, different signs, especially a scenario where the mom was negative the first time, okay? And the baby that came out was positive. Now the mom has antibodies, and now they have to watch the second birth, okay? Yes. Uh, I was going to ask you if the only people that are positive are women that have a baby because they like exchange with the baby when they're giving birth. Um, I, the idea is that you have the factor or not. So it's, it's all about having that factor that causes the antibodies. So again, for adults, transfusions, not can really considered, not an issue. It's the only issue between baby and mother because of the, what? The weakened and not fully developed red blood cells, and because you're what? You're surrounded by the entire bloodstream of the mother. You're just overtaken by this, and you don't have development, and you need what? You need the mother to deliver the, the exchange of, uh, of oxygen, and this placenta is a freeway of diffusion from high to low, so it can't win in that scenario. Yes? So how do the antibodies in the mother react with the well, it's the first pregnancy. The first pregnancy, there must have been an exchange of blood or some tissue that created the antigen to develop, to activate a T cell to, to, to create that response, that hormonal response of the B cells. So there has to be a scenario. So if the first pregnancy occurred and the, and the mother's not positive, okay, doesn't have the antibodies, we're good. Okay, that's why second pregnancy, they, they, they make sure they check that. Okay, even first pregnancy, they want to know the positive, negative nature of the baby. Yeah. No, no, they're not, not attacking the B cell. The, the B cell has to be activated to produce the plasma cell to create the antibody because it's, it sees a foreign antigen. Oh, the B blood type? It's independent of the blood type. Positive and negative is independent whether you're A, B, B. Okay, that's just do you have that factor or not. What happens with twins? Is it the same Well, but, uh, identical twins, of course, will have the same exact factors, same exact genetic code. Fraternal you're just two different eggs. So 
you have two different makeups. So you'd have two different. Uh, and if, if you're identical, identical, you're in the same same uh, sack. If you're paternal, you're going to be in two different ones. So it's two different scenarios. It's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. Frank and I have the same blood type. Same blood type. I think that's just chance of the alleles. You know, you just, you I just told chance. Yes. What if the mama, let's just say, for example, like that's how it was for me. The mom is O and the baby is A. Are there problems? Like, how is it? It's a great question. No so if the mother is O and the baby is A, Okay, this is the universal donor, so there's less of any, right. there's less of any problem. But let's just make it the other way. Let's make this a B mom and an A baby. Okay, um, remember, blood doesn't trans, doesn't go through the placenta. Placenta is a connection. Here's the blood of the mom. Here's the umbilical cord, and eventually started the blood of the what? Baby. The, the blood is not touching in this scenario. The placenta allows diffusion of materials. But where there is occurrence is if, again, if there is exchange of bodily fluid, especially blood, during the pregnancy, that little amount, okay, is basically the mom's tearing of, you know, the vagina and the different parts of her, the birth canal. This blood of the baby won't probably be enough to make much of a difference to her, it's a small amount. And the, likewise, the same thing, this baby is usually surrounded by the blood of the mother, Okay, not its own. So it's a small exchange, so it's not enough to kill. For instance, if the, if the baby was A and B and there was an open wound somehow, like a traumatic event, and that happens a lot if you've got a pregnant woman and she's in an unfortunate car accident or some kind of trauma where that baby got, got hit and now is bleeding and now mixing with the mother who got hit and is bleeding, that could, be a, that could kill the mother and or the baby. Okay, just, and of course the shock alone can rip the baby from that position as well. So, a um, lot of scenarios. And I hope I answered some of those questions okay. All right, we're going to move forward though.